Hi, this is Matt Demetrison of Telemus Capital with the week in review for the week ending December 20th of 2019. The markets continued its winning ways with the S&P 500 up 1.7% on the week. All their major indices were also positive with the Dow climbing 1.1%, the NASDAQ composite appreciating 2.2%, and the Russell 2000 drifting 2.1% higher. Last week's gradual climb in the market seemed to be driven more by a lack of bad information than any particular positive data point per se. There were, however, some better than expected economic readings around building permits, housing starts, industrial production, and personal spending. Home builder confidence also hit its highest level since 1999. Within the S&P 500, all 11 economic sectors finished with positive returns. Utilities, real estate, and communication services were among the leaders, while industrials was the laggard on the backs of poor performance out of FedEx and Boeing. During the week, FedEx reported its fiscal second quarter earnings results, were, which were below that of expectations. The company also revised down its guidance for the rest of its fiscal year. This sent shares lower. Boeing, which is evidenced here in its year-to-date price chart in the lower right-hand corner, experienced a decline in the week after it announced that it made the decision to suspend all 737 MAX production beginning in January. In Washington, the House passed the USMCA, or U.S.-Mexico-Canada Agreement, which will replace NAFTA, along with voting to impeach President Trump. Either item seemed to have an influence on the markets during the week. Treasury, yield, treasury prices declined among a risk on sentiment, sending yields higher and the yield curve steeper. The two-year Treasury yield was three basis points higher, while the yield on the 10-year Treasury lifted 10 basis points to finish the week at a rate of 1.92%. The dollar rose or appreciated 0.6%, while crude oil was up slightly to close at $60.30 a barrel. Lastly, on behalf of all of us here at Telemus Capital, we want to wish you and your families a very happy holiday season. Thank you.